If your budget is between four and $500,000 and you're thinking about moving to Helotus, Texas, don't go any further. Watch this video right now. What's up guys, welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jonathan, you know my partner, Trevor. I also call him Homelander over here. Yeah, for one or two reasons. <laughs> if you're Homelander, then I must be A-Train. That's what you, yo, yeah, of course. Right? Yeah, A-Train and Homelander. <laughs> yes, we are, we're getting down. You know what we do on this channel. We talk about everything that you wanna know mm -hmm. about living in San Antonio in the entire metro area. We're also licensed real estate agents here in San Antonio, which means not only do we enjoy making videos for you guys, we would love even more to help you with all your real estate needs. So the number popping up on the screen, that's our information. Feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We would love to help you and your family make a smooth move here to San Antonio. All right, Trevor, so we're here in Helotus, Texas, and we're looking at homes in the four to 500K range, yes. right? Uh, we know that the median sale price here in Helotus is what, 475? Something like so, that. So, yeah. you know, that's perfect for a lot of people whose budget is going to be between four and five hundred thousand dollars. Yes, this video is going to be for you. If you're not familiar with Helotus, it's a suburb that's located just west of San Antonio outside of the 1604 loop, about 20 minutes or 25 minutes from downtown really 25 to 30 minutes from pretty much anywhere you want to go. Pretty much. Right, yeah. Lackland Air Force Base, downtown, um, where else? There's uh, the, the, you the, have the Rim Shopping Center, and yes. La Cantera, all those things are about 10 minutes away. You have uh, the quarry, which is probably about a 25 minute drive. Um, you have really convenient access to a lot of highways in San Antonio, to anywhere that you need to go. Right, being right off of 1604 in Bandera Road, you know, if you're if you go further west, you can jump on 151. Uh, that'll take you to 90 into downtown. You could go east or north and jump onto I-10 and take that into downtown. So very convenient. You got options. You got you, options. You've got options here. Now, Helotus, Texas, is you know it's a it's a suburb. It's its own town, its own little municipality. Population of about 9,500 people, and it is beautiful. It's been growing a lot over. I say the last 10 years, uh, a right. lot of people have been moving out here. Yep, they, I know they started to develop a lot of the communities within the early 2000s is when a lot of these neighborhoods went up and um, I'd say the vast majority of them actually. Yeah. That being said though, there is still a lot of construction happening out here. People are buying up land and building their custom homes on this uh, in the areas out here as well. So it's not just an older neighborhood, it is established, but there are still options if you're wanting to build your own home. Yes, a lot of, a lot of new homes. Some of the homes that we're gonna look at today, or at least one of the homes <laughs> we're gonna look at today, built in 2019, so still pretty new. And then the, the other ones built in the early 2000s. But what you're gonna see is neighborhoods are very, very well maintained here in Helotus. This, uh, this city or this suburb really prides itself on keeping Helotus looking beautiful. Mm -hmm. and, and you're gonna see that as we, as we drive around. Now, as we get outside of the 1604 loop, a couple of miles, you're gonna see the topography change, yes. right? Because we start getting into the Texas Hill Country. That's another big draw for people. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of San Antonio is pretty flat, to be honest with you. Yes. And, but once you get outside of that 1604 loop and you start traveling west, you're gonna start seeing those rolling hills. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love those rolling me hills. Too, I, me I too, man, I love that Texas Hill Country. I got a soft spot for yeah, it, Yeah, me too. You, you're gonna see some houses that are on the hills, hillsides and things like that. I mean. Don't get me wrong, this isn't like, uh, you know, it's no. not Washington it's not or Kansas. it's not Colorado. Yeah, it's not, <laughs> it, not crazy. Well, it's not, yeah, it's not, it's not going to be as flat as Kansas, Kansas. but it's not going to look like Colorado yes, when, it, no. when it comes to like the mountains Sadly, and stuff no. like that. Right, but you are going to get some hills and, and they are pretty nice. So uh, with that being said, Helotus, again, conveniently located to all your shopping centers and everything that you're going to want, restaurants, nightlife, uh, malls, you got La Cantera shopping, outdoor mall, just down the road. You've got movie theater right down um, Bandera in 1604. UTSA is also about five minutes away from UTSA here as well. main campus is, is mm -hmm. very, very close. So you've got a lot of, of amenities and conveniences located right here near Helotus, Texas. And if you're into the outdoors, 
then you've got Government Canyon State Natural Area, which is just right down the road too. Yep. So you can't beat Helotus. You can, man. This right? is one of my favorite neighborhoods, uh, or suburbs, if you will, yes. of San Antonio, man. This is probably top two for me, if not the best, I, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Let's go check out our first house that is in that four to 500 K range. We're gonna show you the neighborhood, show you the house a little bit. We'll throw some pictures of the house up on the screen. And then we're gonna drive around the neighborhood a little bit so you can get a feel for what that looks like. And we're gonna go do that for a few houses and you guys check it out. Let's right. go. We'll see you over there. All right, guys, we're in our first neighborhood here. And this neighborhood is gonna be located right off of Bandera Road about two miles outside of the 1604 loop. Very beautiful neighborhood and, and, and new-ish. Uh, started getting built right around 2018, 2019. The first house that we're gonna be coming up on is uh, built in 2019. It's gonna be $389,000. Now, earlier I talked about how the, the list to sell price here in Helotus is right at 98%. So you don't see a lot of price changes here in Helotus, but this one actually has a price change. Uh, this one just recently went down about $25,000. So it does happen even here in Helotus in an area that's you know highly desirable and has low inventory. So it does happen. This one here, 2,224 square feet, 389,000. So it puts the price per square foot right at 175, four bedrooms, three baths. So you can see behind me, single story home, beautiful home. And as I turn around, you can see just all the homes here are just, they're gorgeous. I mean, the, the brick and stone combination, which is, you know, very popular. And as we walk down here, um, one of the other videos I talked about is the white stone, very popular here in Texas. You'll see it a lot up in Dallas area, and you're going to see it a lot down here too. Um, just a, just a, a really rustic look, really Texas look, and you'll see it a lot in some of these neighborhoods. But this one right here, gorgeous. We, we had the opportunity to walk through it. There's huge, uh, huge island, beautiful, beautiful cabinets, and a lot of space, open concept. I'll put some pictures on the screen for you here so you can take a look at it. But wonderful house and common. Uh, this is what you're gonna see, right, mm -hmm. in, in this neighborhood. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty uniform throughout this neighborhood. All the houses have, I wanna say most of them are by the same builder. Uh, yeah. A lot of them have the same sort of design. It's a beautiful design, so that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, beautiful design, though. Now, one of the things that we really like are wide streets. This one just has your is going to have your standard, your standard street. So you are going to get some on-street parking, as you can see here behind me. Now, this is a gated community as well, and a lot of times, I've mentioned it before, gated communities a lot of times will have their own rules as to whether or not you can do on-street parking. And the reason for that is because once a community is gated, that the roads in that subdivision are now private roads, not public roads. So the HOA can actually regulate whether or not there's on-street parking. This one appears to allow on-street parking. Might not be that big of a deal for you. I mean, my neighborhood allows on-street parking. Same. Um, I don't like it, but it is, <laughs> it is what it is, right? So uh, beautiful neighborhood. And we're gonna go go check out check out the other one. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, neighborhood number two Sorry, Johnny. here in Helotus. Um, another beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. This one here built uh, early 2000s. A lot of the houses here built in the early 2000s. The one that we're gonna be coming up on built in 2003. Now, this, uh, the, the square footage on this house is a little over 2,200 square feet. And the price of this home is gonna be 424K. 424.9 actually puts the price per square foot right at 179 I believe and uh, it's a three bedroom two bath beautiful home and all the homes around here are beautiful again very established neighborhood as you can see as I turn you can I mean look how old these trees are yeah you know I'm gonna talk about the trees uh, beautiful <laughs> and uh, well manicured lawns as you can see here I don't know what this this grass is not Bermuda. A lot of the newer neighborhoods come with Bermuda grass. I think this is St. Augustine. This appears to be St. Augustine. Most of the, 
that might not mean anything to you. I like St. Augustine grass. I feel like it's pretty hardy and it's, uh, it, does, it does better with weeds. It's a sturdy grass. It's a sturdy, sturdy grass. grass. <laughs> so if you find yourself in an established neighborhood, you get some St. Augustine grass, good for you. Uh, so here is the house right here we're coming up on right now. Again, three bedrooms, two bath, beautiful home. I'm gonna throw some pictures up on the screen for you. This is really kind of what you're gonna be looking at in, the, uh, in this price range. Uh, four to $500,000, very clean. Um, you, will, you will find some homes that are a little bit more, I guess, updated. Some of them are a little less updated. They do have that early 2000 look to them, but some of them, you know, have the granite countertops and the new cabinets and, you know, remodeled bathrooms. I'll throw some pictures up uh, of this house on the screen so you could take a look at its condition, but this is uh, gonna be typical of what you're gonna be seeing in, in this price range here. And it is not bad. Look at, these, look at this house here behind me. And again, all around here, beautiful homes. This neighborhood is extremely quiet. This one is not a gated community, but it's off of, it's so well it's, off of main road, right? Yeah, pretty far yeah. back. It's, it's that main road that we took coming in here. I'd say this, this part of the neighborhood is probably, we probably drove, what, a good mile in before we even turned this part of the subdivision. Yeah. Um, I know I personally looked at a house in this neighborhood a couple years back, and unfortunately I got outbid. I really like this neighborhood. Um, there's houses in this neighborhood ranging anywhere from, you know, the mid-300s all the way up to million-dollar homes, right? The way this, the, the subdivision is divided. You have your subdivision, and then within that you have separate, separate communities. Some of them are gated. This one just happens to not be gated. I love this neighborhood. This is personally one of my favorites. Uh, still stings a little bit that I couldn't get that home, but you know, we all got to move on sometime, right? This is a big, big pro for me. I I'm a big fan of this neighborhood. You get a combination of two and three car garages, and I, I really like that. I'm a huge fan of three car garages. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are, are going to be the three car that have like the single uh, doors like this, and then a couple of them, uh, this one, well, we're coming up on here is going to be the three car garage and it's got the single door and then you know your double garage door like that one uh way over there so all right we're going to go head over to our third and final house we'll see you in just a second all right we're here at our third and final neighborhood this one is a really nice neighborhood another gated community this one's located off of uh, Kyle Seely Parkway in 1604. Kyle, yeah. Kyle Seal. Kyle Seal Parkway in 1604. Um, super nice over here. 1604 is under a lot of construction, unfortunately, right where this neighborhood is. And um, so you would have to deal with that. So these folks are probably not very happy having to jump on 1604 from here and deal with all that construction. But once it's done, it's gonna be pretty nice. Um, this neighborhood, Again, really nice, built in the early 2000s. The house that we're gonna be looking at, 2006, but as you can see, uh, very well maintained and kept up. Again, uh, landscaping is, is really good. This house is gonna be 475K, so the most expensive house of the three that we have seen so far, mm -hmm. uh, but the largest square footprint, right? 3,100, a yes. little over 3,100 square feet. Puts the price per square foot right at 150. So five bedroom, three bath. So this is a big house and a lot of space right off of a cul-de-sac, which is really nice. So, you know, with kiddos being able to play in the cul-de-sac and not have to worry about getting smashed by cars is always nice. That's big. That's a, that's a big deal for that's a lot important. of people. Um, this is the house right here across the street from us. As you can see, it is a uh, three car garage. Uh, really nice here. I love the entryway. You walk up the stairs and you have the nice front porch there, a lot of space, put some chairs on it. I love houses like that, that have a lot of space where you can put chairs out front. And uh, several houses that, we've, that we're looking at around here have porches like that. A lot of them have steps too. Now you're gonna notice when you're out in Helotus, um, as you, just a couple miles outside of the 1604 loop, the topography starts to change, right? Mm -hmm. You start mm -hmm. to really get into like the hills. Yes. And so it's evident in some of these neighborhoods, um, there's there's some elevation. So with that elevation, you know, your foundation on some of these houses is gonna be higher, which means you're gonna have steps that lead up to your front door. 
you know, if, if that's a problem for you, a lot of, a lot of times people don't like sloped driveways or having to like drive up a driveway. Now the elevation here in these driveways isn't, isn't too bad, but, um, you are going to deal with that. So, uh, but again, beautiful area. You cannot beat Helotus. Uh, what, what do you think about Helotus? I like it, man. Uh, Helotus to me is one of my favorite, like, areas of San Antonio. Like I said, you know, we really wanted to live there. Unfortunately, we got outbid. But that being said, there's, like you said, there's a lot of houses that have been built in the early 2000s, but there's still a lot of land that you can buy out here and a lot of places that are still developing lands and they'll let you buy the land, build on that land and build your own house, whatever you want, make a custom house. Um, I am a huge fan. I love the location of it. I think it's just far away from all the hustle and bustle of downtown and kind of the inner city stuff, but it's close enough to where it's convenient to everything should you need to get across town. I love it, one of my favorites. Uh, what can I say? Yeah, uh, this particular neighborhood too is very, very close to Government Canyon State Natural mm -hmm. Area. So if you're into outdoors, uh, just being in Helotus in itself you're, is gonna put you real close to Government Canyon. A lot of good hiking out there. There's yes. dinosaur uh, tracks and stuff. You can, it's like a, a mile and a half or a two mile hike. Mm -hmm. Stop and check out the dinosaur tracks that they keep preserved out there. That's, that's always fun for the kids. Not too far from Bernie either, Bernie, not, Texas. Yeah, not, not too far. Anyway, guys, this is this is Helotus, Texas, and this is what you can get in the four to five hundred k range. Yep. Again, we are licensed realtors. We would love to help you guys out. Um, we're going to be putting our information down at the bottom of the screen. So please feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We would love to help you and your family make a smooth move here to San Antonio. And until next time, we'll catch you on the next one. I'll see you guys later.